What's the best part of the day? You remember it more than I. He left a gift for you before he left. Oh, (laughs) my. (laughs) I've never heard of this happening, actually. So he basically came over. Then he was about to leave. He goes, I forget. I forgot my shoes in the garage. And I said, "Okay, go get them. He goes and he opens the garage door, stands there. This is really important to remember it, um, then leaves through the front door. It comes back and leaves through the front door. The next morning I wake up, go into the garage, like about to go to my yoga class, and what do I see there? His His shoes. shoes. He only brought one pair of shoes like into this house. Mm -hmm. So how do you walk out onto the street thinking you're barefoot but not knowing that? Yeah. No, he intentionally left his shoes so he could come back here and get them. Yeah. and none of my shoes were missing. Yeah. So immediately what came into my head was, is there a camera in there? Is oh, there my God. Tra- <laughs> is there a tracker? I didn't think what? of that. Oh is there God. some kind of bug? Yeah. Why are his shoes here? Did you check his shoes to make sure? Yes. Oh, okay. Like, it was kind of, I didn't want to reach my hand into it. That's so I kind of just tapped it and, like, shook things out to okay. see. And yeah. there was nothing there. Okay. So I thought, okay, if he wants to play this game, that's fine. But mm-hmm. he can be the one to reach out and be like, can I get my shoes? Yeah. A, a few days passed, nothing. He says, like, hey, how are you? I, I had such a great time. The next day he sends this yeah. text. Um, nothing about his shoes and basically, like, wanting to continue the conversation. And I just said, hey, I think we're both very different people but would love to stay friends, which I guess was my first mistake because apparently, you know, you just, if you want to let him down, just let him down. Um, The being friends, he took quite literally. He did take quite literally. And he said, like, just let me know if you ever want to hang out with me again. Yeah. I think he commented on your Instagram post too. He did. Yeah. Um, And it it was like a flirty comment that my sister asked me, who is this? I was like, I don't know who that is. Yeah. (laughs) It's a nobody. (laughs) Um, Which... I sound like an awful person. No, right? it's fine. I, I think he like you, I think he should have gotten the hint by you saying like we're we are different people. Right. And you trying to say the friends thing was supposed to be like a let down easy type of thing. I think he needed to have like gotten the picture, but now you know. When and you at that point, it was a it was like it was the next day, but you should also know that your shoes are not there and yeah. now that I'm like let's be friends, you should be mm-hmm. like I think I left my shoes at your place. Right. How did you not notice that? Yeah, I don't know. And then two weeks later, texts me, hey, how are you? Which mm-hmm. I didn't respond to. Yeah. Because he said, let me know if mm-hmm. you ever want to see me. So I didn't reach out. Right. Then a week later, he goes, hey, have you seen my shoes in your house? I think I might have left them there. Yeah. What have you been doing for Without three Without your shoes. Like, what? Literally. Uh, I just... Those are your everyday shoes. And yeah. I know that for a fact. How do you not, how, what have you been doing for three weeks? It's the worst long game plan I've ever heard of in my entire life. Like, yeah, let me just leave a vital piece of my belongings at this random girl's house that I met one, one time. time. <laughs> yeah. And maybe it'll be my key back into her house. Right, and yeah. then maybe I'll use that opportunity to win her back over. Yeah, like oh my God. I was just so annoyed at that point. And mm-hmm. also, I had just thrown his shoes away the day before because it was trash day. Oh, my <laughs> God. And I was like, this can't sit in my house for another week, and my grandma's going to come over and be yeah. like, whose ginormous shoes are these? And yeah. I can't be like, they're mine. Yeah, obviously they're not yours. No, mm-hmm. it's a size, men's size 12, and oh, I'm a yeah. woman's size 6. <laughs> that, You're, you can fit you that's with your triple. shoe on, like, inside. That's three of my foot. Yeah, I know. So um, that was the end to that story. Thank God, too. I Have think... you ever had any disaster dates? I I know you've had some. Oh, my God. I've had some horrible disaster dates. The worst disaster date that I've had, he did not enter my apartment, thank God, because it would have been horrible if he did. But um, I made the mistake of, like, the same thing of, like, just wanting to meet anyone and everyone. And this guy and I, like, didn't really talk that much on dating apps. We we just, like, were trying to set up to, like, hang out. Yeah, but you never know because some terrible texters could be really good. That was my thinking. Like, maybe if he was a terrible texter, like, he'd be much better in person. But it turned out he was a terrible texter because he didn't really speak English. <laughs> I think I remember you telling me this. <laughs> this is like the worst first day of my life. But also the fact that you had 
this wasn't just like a one hour date. No, this was like a two or two and a half hour date because <laughs> basically we, we both met at the, his favorite restaurant of all time. And his favorite restaurant of all time has a 45 minute wait. And there's no way you can make a reservation. It's like first come, first serve. So like I was standing outside the restaurant with this guy for 45 minutes and it's outdoors. So like oh everyone on all the other tables can see you and they can like, I'm like, I know that they're listening to my conversation with this guy. And I know they know this is the first date and probably the worst first date they've ever heard. But basically I just kept like <laughs> trying to ask him questions and then he didn't know what I was saying. And then like oh he God. tried to ask me questions and then like I didn't know what he was saying. So we were both just like staring at each other and it was like, this is so uncomfortable and awkward. Finally, our table is ready. And it was the same kind of thing with you. Like we're just like sitting there in like silence and just just chowing down like on the food. And because I'm, you like, already had 45 minutes before the date yeah, to, talk to talk or say like everything you needed to say. And nothing was said. Yeah. And so then we're eating and the food was like pretty good. He ordered like a bunch of extras. So like we got like a bowl of noodles and he ordered like all of these sides. And just to like, everyone has the full picture. He was wearing, he was only wearing like name brands. He had like a Louis Vuitton wallet that he pulled out. Oh. He had, like, really nice like designer belt on. Um, and it, when it came to pay, he was like, oh, like, should we split it? And I was like, mm, like I didn't order like all of his extra stuff. Like I don't want to pay for like some he of said your stuff. Do you think he wanted he, to split it? Do you yeah. think he knew that there wasn't going to be a second date, or did he ever hint after no, the he, first date? No, he he wanted me to go home with him afterwards. Okay, then he shouldn't have said, "Should we split it?" Oh yeah, F, he's like, "Oh, I'll pay for my half, and then like you could pay for yours." And he pulled out like a crisp hundred dollar bill. He yeah. couldn't cover that. The meal was probably like thirteen dollars for me. Like it was not like an expensive meal or anything. Thir he couldn't cover $13 no. and he thinks that you would go home with him. He's like, actually, if you don't, I kind of lied. And I was like, oh, I don't have any cash on me. Cause it was like cash only. And he was like, that's okay. You can Venmo me. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I, my dumbass, like actually Venmoed him for half, for half of it. And I literally only ate like a little bit. I don't know what I would do it was because horrible. it's an awkward situation it to be so put awkward. in. Yeah. And then right after he was like, so you want to go home with me? And I was like, no. he said that straight up, just straight up was like, let's go. He like drove a yellow Corvette. It was Does disgusting. that move work with anyone? Probably like, has not. he not learned from that? Well, yeah, I don't know. We, again, like he didn't really speak English, so I don't know how many words he knew. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Where is he from? <laughs> he was from Singapore. Maybe that works in Singaporean. Singapore. What do they speak there? Chinese. Right? No, they do Yeah, but it's they have their own kind of English. Oh, they do. but he didn't speak English. They speak all languages because it's like a melting pot. I don't know a language he spoke, but I know he was from Singapore. That's all I know. I mean, I've only lived in Hong Kong and Taiwan, and I can tell you if a guy said that in Cantonese or Mandarin, it would still not be yeah, smooth. <laughs> I know. I don't know what he was thinking. It was the it was to this day the worst first date I've ever been on. What yeah. was the best first date that you've ever been on? She has mm. to say very. I know. I think I have to say very, but it really wasn't. She like has to the say very. <gasps> no, it wasn't because he it was had, during COVID too. It was during COVID, and like he also had never been on. Barry's just like really lucky. <laughs> what's Barry's middle name again? Or what? what's the lucky one? Is it middle name? Hong, Hong Yi. Hong, Hong Yi. And it means like luck or something, right? Luck, yeah. Gather and so Barry just, it's like that movie with Lindsay Lohan in it, Just My Luck, where everything she does, she's lucky. Oh, that's what Barry is. Yeah. Yeah. He's just super lucky. So I met Emily. Yeah. Sorry, you say the story. It's your he, story. He was on dating apps for a, a week. I was on dating apps for like two years. <laughs> two years, maybe. And had horrible luck on dating apps. And he went on, on a week in a week and we matched. And then like after our like second date, he deleted the app. Unheard of. Unheard of. Yeah. And now we live together. <laughs> And they've been together for so long. Well, they're they're going to be together for like so almost, long. Like almost, almost 
two years almost. So, but still, the yeah. fact that you were able to start talking to Barry mm-hmm. during COVID for the whole time. Oh yeah, dating on Zoom. during COVID. Yeah. Was it Zoom? Literally, I think it was Zoom, and then we moved to FaceTime after. Did you email him links? Like he was, Zoom no, he links? was like, "Can we um, can we video chat on Instagram?" Why, Barry? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. To this day, it was like so awkward and weird. We had a very. Because he wanted to follow you on Instagram. No, he didn't want to follow me on Instagram. He never asked to follow me. He just wanted a video chat. I've never used video chat on Instagram. I didn't even know you could. I I was waiting for him to ask me for my number. Yeah. So he's like, okay, should we just video chat on here? Because that's the only way we were talking was through Instagram after I followed him on Instagram. (gasps) Yeah. I did all the first moves. I made all the first moves. I think that's really brave of you and something. I don't, I don't think I told you this offline or whatever this is, um, but I, you're like always in my head as inspiration now oh when God. it's time to make a move. I'm like yeah. waiting on him to make a move mm-hmm. sometimes or just like learning to be more vocal, yeah. even if that guy isn't. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's hard. And I was in my head. I always think now after that first first date with yeah. you know who. Mm-hmm. I was like, I need to be more vocal. I just need to say it. Mm -hmm. And if it's not reciprocated, good. End it. Move on. Walk away. Don't waste my time anymore. But also, like, try Mm -hmm. because, yes, I think we always want the guy to initiate. But he's also feeling uncomfortable. And it's kind of give and take. Like, you have to give. A little bit. In order for him to be like, okay, there's space for me to give. Right. You don't always have to give, but there's something that you have to give. A little mm-hmm. bit and so every time now where there's something in my head at first I I think the guy should do it mm-hmm. I kind of take a second to think again and ask myself if I should do it instead because I know you would I would I will I did in that scenario with him I think like before that like I just kept waiting and waiting and waiting and like putting myself in mental purgatory, like just hoping that they would make the first move. But I think I just had like a good feeling about Barry. And so I was like, okay, I think I should, I should try to to get this moving along. I think like if we could actually talk and like actually like be on a call together, like it'd be really great. So, but I also had a lot of support from like my friends being like, I think you should try to make the first move, which I was like not a fan of, but I was like, I want, I want us to see it through. I want to see if it would like work out. And you also made the first move in your first sleepover where you cried first. (laughs) And then you Mm -hmm. had the first talk, like real talk or fight. Was that, am I remembering that? Yeah, it was like our first like big, not disagreement, but we had to have like a serious talk. The first time I went over to Barry's, it was during the pandemic and it was like everything was still very locked down like i really wasn't allowed to be in his apartment complex um and so i had to yeah let's talk about the first sleepover first sleepover i had with my now boyfriend of almost two years was one of the most chaotic and psychotic experiences of my life and i love i love my boyfriend so much He's I like, love him too. He's the best. He really he like he really set up is. our whole podcast for us and like he, we didn't even ask. Yeah. He offered. He just came over. He's really he's the best. He is. But I had the worst like first sleepover with him. Um, <laughs> I love this story so much. <laughs> this is the worst story. Actually, no, it's it. like so amazing because it's so wild. It's wild. And I want to preface that like this was in the height of the pandemic, and um, my boyfriend is like very clean he he cleaned this whole table he before, did he like, did he, he wiped down every- everything <laughs> yes before we as if down. i had covid he was yeah. like i don't want to touch this but like during when everyone was like wiping their groceries and stuff down like I anything yeah he was like very very much on edge about just covid getting anywhere in his apartment and so like when i first stepped into his 250 square foot box that he lived in um, the first, the first thing besides like just trying to get into the building because the building was under lockdown, I like had to come in through a side door, like all by myself. So people would just think <laughs> that I lived there. Once I got in, he had this like little rectangular doormat. It's literally this big. And he was like, Oh, take off, make sure you take off your shoes. 
Like, thank God I took competitive dance for a long time, so I had, like, really good core strength, so I could balance on one God. foot on that tiny little mat. So I was taking off my shoes. I was like, it's going to fall over. It reminds me of, like, P.E., you know, when yeah. you played hot, the lava, the floor is lava, and oh, then that's you had exactly to throw down, like, pillows <laughs> and stuff and hop. That's, yeah. that's what it reminds me of. That's exactly what it was. So I would, like, stand, and I would hold the door against my back, and then he would come in. He would take off all of his Barry shoes Barry didn't first. even hold the door for you? Because he needed to have his section to sit on. The Only one person could be on the mat at a time. <laughs> so he would do his thing, take off all of his shoes, like put his clothes, run back to me, take all of, you know, take my bag, take whatever bags I had, hold them so that I could take off my shoes on a little square. So that's how I entered the apartment for the first time. Why didn't Barry just get a bigger mat? That's what I said. I think after I ended up coming over more often, he did end up getting like a bigger mat okay, because good. it was I was like, this is the worst experience I have every day walking into. Your but own I can't apartment. believe he did that for so yeah. long. It was a really tiny. I mean, it was. But just Barry's him. also tall. He's all yeah. He's really tall. He's like six feet. So, so it did, doesn't make sense that if you're struggling, he's just like. Thriving. I think he was struggling, but he didn't care enough to like get a new Mac because he was a single guy living That's in this true. tiny studio apartment. Yeah. Anyways, so now that we've gotten into the door, um, we needed to put all the groceries away. So he was like wiping down the bags. He was wiping down all the packages that we had bought to make dinner. And after that, like because it's such a he literally lived in a 250 square foot apartment. There's no furniture. There's no like there's nowhere for me to sit. So, like, I thought I would just sit down on one of the two chairs that he owned <laughs> since I probably wasn't allowed to sit on the bed. He did eventually, like, after I started coming over more, he bought me my yeah. own, like, comfy chair that I was able to Wait, that's to really sweet. Yes. Yeah, so, I had my own comfortable chair that it was just for me. Like, I got to sit on it What an there. investment. We still have really the chair. Really paying off. We, we've taken the chair to our first apartment, so we still have it in our room. Um, but, yeah, when I went to go sit down, like, because I was... I might have had germs on my pants when I sat down. <laughs> right, like, it was like a scene from a movie. Like, right before I was about to sit down on the chair, he whiffs out, like, this Clorox wipe and then started, like, wiping my ass with it. <laughs> with my clothes oh on Oh, my God, he's so comfortable. It was the first time he touched your butt? Yeah! <laughs> the first time he touched my butt, I was like, Clorox wipe. <laughs> he was just like, but it was like, it was like he just was in, like, It wasn't sexual at all. No, it wasn't It wasn't sexual. even romantic. Oh, it wasn't romantic. It was like, come in. <laughs> he was just, like, running out through the apartment, like, wiping the groceries, wiping my ass, like, wiping the groceries, wiping the chairs. Like, you didn't even I acknowledge that that was the first time he grabbed your butt. I know. It really was the first time he grabbed. It was the first time he had touched me in that way. And it was, like, in between was just this Clorox wipe. So anyways, it was horrifying. At least it was really clean. Yeah. At least, yeah, so my ass was clean, and the chair I was sitting on was clean, and everything about it was, yeah, it was very, it was a sterile situation, for sure. It was just, it was horrifying. Would you consider that a big turn on? I was completely turned on to, to some idea that this was the going Clorox to. The Clorox just, like, got into your head. Oh, yeah, the fumes. Yeah. The Clorox was, like, going into It's my deleting head. brain cells. Yeah, I really was. I was deleting his brain cells. Who thought that that was a good idea? <laughs> I um, don't know. The first time that you're meeting this person that you've been spending a lot of time with, like, romantically, that this was a smart thing. Honestly, I can't say I'm, like, I can't say anything because the first time, like, COVID was released and the next day we had to go to the office. Mm -hmm. Uh, someone coughed and like sneezed and I felt it on my no. face oh my on God. the bus and <gasps> I was in SF so I was like this is a disgusting place to be I freaked out and all I had were Clorox wipes in my bag shut up I literally Clorox wiped my face on the bus no when I got off I was like <gasps> This is really going to hurt my skin, but do I want to die or do I want to Clorox wipe my face and potentially burn it? You were like, like, I'm in a life or death situation. Exactly, because we know <laughs> nothing about COVID. And everyone oh was like God. crying and freaking out. And we were in discussions of like shutting down the office. And that's never happened in our lives right. before, right? Yeah. So I'm like, we don't know what this disease is. If I get go to the hospital, I'm going to die. Yeah. So I like started Clorox wiping my face. And then I found Shut like up. hand sanitizer. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god. 
So at least you had your clothes on. That's true. It wasn't skin to skin (laughs) contact, but also like it wasn't a self-inflicted like Clorox wipe. This was someone else Cloroxing me. You were Cloroxing yourself. And it also (laughs) wasn't like the first day of COVID. It was like how many months into it or whatever. When was this exactly? Do you know when? Maybe it was around the time that. Do you mean when I wiped my face? Yeah. Do you know when this happened? Like. When COVID first started, March 20, oh. was it 2020, 2019, oh, 2020, like oh, okay. that first. In the thick of it. Yes. Like the next day okay. our office was shut down. Okay. See, this happened to me August of 2020. This was not like. <laughs> Five months into COVID. Yeah. Which granted, I'm like, everyone was still very much like doing the wiping everything down. Yeah. I just never heard of wiping someone else down. Oh, yeah. And it's yeah. like the first time he touched your ass. Yeah, I think the, that's yeah. the most important takeaway from this. Yeah. And the best part is that, like, right after all of that happened, like, <laughs> like I know you he was... still liked him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. And when I talked to him, he was like, if that happened to me, I would have left. And I'm like, honestly, I considered leaving, like, 10 different times. I think I would have started time. crying right then and there. Yeah, I waited at least until I got into his shower. Because I was like, I realized I wouldn't be able to sit anywhere in his place if I wasn't, like, clean. clean. So I was like, I guess I should just, like, you know, it's 7 o'clock. I better just go wash up so I can, like, And I need to down. cry. So, yeah. like, at least I can wash my face and just pretend and just, my face is wet. Exactly. I, I really didn't want to cry in front of him. So, yeah, I did go and take a shower and, like, cried because, like, this can't be happening to me right now. Like, I can't believe this guy, like, thinks I'm dirty. And, like, it also just made me feel really unwelcome. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm bringing, like, all of this dirt and grime and, like, gross COVID germs into your space. Like, I'm hindered. I'm a burden to you. That's but what I felt. It felt weird and uncomfortable because it was your first time sleeping over in yeah. his apartment, mm-hmm. but then you already felt like you didn't fit in. I totally felt like I should have left. There's some, I'm like, maybe I should, this is too hard. It's too much. Yeah. Climbing through like the back side door to get in, like, like trying to tiptoe on the little mat, like getting my ass wiped. I don't know why the image that comes up when you say all that is like you trying to climb through a dog <laughs> door. Like what are those, the, the thing, the flaps yeah, in yeah, the, the door. door. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's literally what comes to my head that's... that you're crawling through that thing. <laughs> but that's what it felt like. It really did because it was all time. Like he was texting me like, I want you to wait 30 seconds count to 30 and then open the door and come out so we didn't like come through at the same oh, time i would and, start a timer yeah i should have i think i just started counting i don't trust myself to count because it's like what's one second is it one mm. or one that's fair i think i trusted myself in that moment <laughs> okay was oh was like, it your main concern <laughs> yeah, my main concern was like i just want to like get into his place and, right like start eating dinner start cooking dinner start putting things away which like, you couldn't which i couldn't because there were so many obstacles in my way at that point so you're um, in the shower. <laughs> anyways, I'm in the shower. I'm, like, washing up. Meanwhile, like, just know Barry has come a long way in terms of, like, his intuition on when I might be upset. In the first year of us being together, intuition was very bad. He, he never knew. I could have tears in my eyeballs. That's happened before. While I'm crying, like, right next to him, and he has no idea. And he's like, all right, good night. And he'll, like, he won't even <laughs> know that I'm crying and, like, turn around. So this was still, oh my God. Like, he had no idea I was upset. He thought right. everything was fine. In fact, after I got out of the shower, we had another first. First fart. What? <laughs> I'm serious. He farted in front of me. Did he react? Night. No, he didn't react. <laughs> what did you do? I was like. <laughs> <laughs> did you say anything? Yes. I was like. What was that? <laughs> you said what was that? It was really loud. <laughs> I remember my first fart. In front Not of mine. It was his. Oh, your first experiencing of a fart. No. Wait, oh, what do you mean? Wait, like you experienced someone else farting. Yeah, like yeah. like my ex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what I remember it. Well, it was the night that he asked me to be his girlfriend. Holy shit. <laughs> and oh August 10th. Wait. That, that's our, what? Oh, no. Ours is the 11th. Whoa. Whoa! Okay, anyways. That's a day. Wow. wow. That's amazing. That's weird. Um, August 10th, and obviously, like, we were out mm-hmm. um, with friends, and then we came back, and we're, like, getting the bed ready to go to sleep, mm-hmm. and he lets out this giant fart. Right. Like, it fills the room. Not no. the smell, but just Did the sound. Smell? No. Oh. I don't I don't remember. You stopped breathing, probably. Well, I was just, like... <laughs> 
I was like, okay, this obviously is something I can't just ignore. Yeah, you have to say something. Like, it, it was too loud. But I was also, like, just, like, working with the comforter, whatever. And I was like, what do I do? And I only have how a split you... second to react, okay. right? I'm but like, these were all I... the thoughts that were going through my head. Yeah. And I just, all that came out of my mouth was, did you just fart? <laughs> reaction that's something people would say yeah I feel like I that's all you can say that's all like you, can you have say. to admit it and he yeah. laughed and like that was fine I don't remember when I first started girls don't fart girls so. don't fart yeah never mind we're not gonna talk about that no or poop I don't want to talk about that either because it's never happened to me okay anyways so Barry, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> anyways first yeah. fart so Barry yeah, we had our first fart like or our his first fart like the first time I cried in front of him our first fart <laughs> I guess it was kind of our because I had to freaking be there for it and it was crazy because he was still in cleaning mode when I got out so he was oh like, like pacing back and forth and then like he was just farting just to like I don't know just to do it and then I was just standing there like freaking like in my towel you know <laughs> Like, just, I just wanted to be comfortable. I wasn't comfortable. I wanted to be allowed to be in the bed because I wasn't right. allowed to unless I was clean. <laughs> it's so. just a really hostile environment on all fronts. It's extremely <laughs> hostile. And, and at this point, like, again, the fumes from the Clorox, the fumes from <laughs> him. <laughs> It was just a lot going on. And so finally, like, we were both ready to go to bed, and we're just, like, laying there. And um, I'm crying. Like, I am just, like, tears are streaming down my face. And, like, he's super excited that I was there. So he was, like, all smiling. And then he he always, like, sleeps on a certain side. But the way that he turned was away from me. And so he had no idea that I was just, like, completely devastated by the night. And he just turned over and was like, Good night. Like a super excited. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow. Like smile. <laughs> you can tell you he was with like smiling. tears in your eyes and he's just <laughs> yeah. smiling. And I tried to like clear my throat so I didn't sound like I was like crying and I was like, oh, good night. <laughs> and then I was just laying there and I was like just trying to force myself to sleep because like, I just need to make it through this night. I just need to like come out the other side, you know? And so I woke up the next day and like, he was super excited, obviously, that I was still there. And so I think we ended up, like, getting up to go get coffee. And we were, like, walking to – we were at USC. Yeah. And we are walking to get coffee on campus. And um, that's when I was like, I can't fake this anymore. And he has no idea that I'm mad. I have to, like, spell it out to this guy. And I was like, you know what? I'm like, if I really didn't care, like, I've spent the last three months talking to this guy. Like, I need to be comfortable telling him, like, what the hell just happened. Yeah. And so, yeah, I did. I explained, like, I felt uncomfortable when you did this. I felt uncomfortable when you did this. Like, if you don't want me to be here, like, I don't have to be. But, like, if you want me to, then I want to feel like I belong here. And, like, after we chatted about it, he, like, cracking up laughing. And, like, oh, my God, I can't. I had no idea that you felt this way. Like, of course, I'll make it. Like, so he did. Like, he got me a new chair. Like, he got a bigger mat to, like, step on when we entered the apartment. Um, he, He never has let me, like help with the cooking or like any type of like even light cleaning or like doing the dishes like yeah he always did all of that when we stayed at his apartment so after that I was definitely treated like royalty after but that first date was just crazy well what state though is the farting the right? farting has yeah, never left the farting, <laughs> the farting has it just has worse. like yeah exactly that's the only thing I feel like but that's also a sign that I mean you're not treated like a princess but like that's yeah. that's a natural sign that he's comfortable with you oh very comfortable and who knew you'd get to a place where you could share this entire story and we could laugh about it yeah, on the podcast true. that's so true yeah We've really come full circle here. And look at him. He's here. Yeah, exactly. And he's such a good sport about it. Yeah. Because, like, I feel like we can really be one-sided bringing our stories. (laughs) (laughs) And nobody can touch us. Yeah. Um, Except in the comments or, like. That's true. Yeah. If it gets, yeah, obviously, when people start hearing about it. If people. But for now, whatever (laughs) we say, there's no other side to it. It's like our story is the story. Mm -hmm. It's facts. Yeah. (laughs) Very true.